In this video tutorial, we're going to teach you about multi-brands. And before I get started on the setup portion, I'm going to explain the concept. Multi-brand means multiple portals, right? As you know, Happy Fox allows you to create portals for your end users. These portals could be, for example, a portal dedicated for customer service, for external customers, right? Um, it could be a place where they can go, search the knowledge base about your products, or submit a ticket that is specific to the type of products or services that your organization sells, right? So here I'm playing with a form and, uh, you know, as an end user again, I get to use this portal as a way of uh, communicating with you. Now, Happy Fox is flexible, flexible enough that you could also create a separate portal for your internal teams. It's like internal support, right? If you think about it, there are two different audiences, customers versus internal team members. And so they couldn't necessarily share this portal. So the idea is that with multi-brand, you can create separate pages, separate portals that each audience can use respectively. So let's do that. First of all, I'm gonna go into the admin area. And from here, I'm going to open the uh, menu where I can find on the second column, multi-brand. Once you get into the multi-brand page from the admin menu, you'll be able to simply add a brand. In this case, I'm gonna call it internal because that's what it is, right? It's internal support. That's the example that I'm using for this demonstration. And if you notice, it's going to append that word into the existing account URL. And that's the way how we'll find it. Now, all the way down at the bottom, I've already created a few categories that are meant for internal help desk, right? So I'm going to select those, accounting, HR, marketing, and IT. If you remember, the other two were part of my customer service for my customers. I want to keep those alone. I'm creating now the internal brand. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And that's it. It created a brand new URL. Now, before I show you what it looks like, I'm going to go into the admin menu, support center on the fourth column. And I'm going to make a few cosmetic changes to make it look good. Now, once I get into the support center page, I want you to notice all the way up to the top right, there is a brand selector. That's where I get to access and make customizations to that brand new brand that I've created, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. It's pointing now into my internal brand. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just quickly go in. And again, as mentioned, just cosmetic changes. For example, I might not want the uh, Happy Fox logo or the Happy Fox name in there. So if you notice all the way to the uh, layout options on the right side, I can make those changes. We do have a separate video for the uh, support center. I suggest you watch that video as well because it covers some of these aspects that I'm changing right now. For now, just because I want it to be uh, simple and, and uh, clear to you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename the portal. I'm going to call it employee support. I like that. Simple. I could change the background. Again, I can change the logo. I can make various changes here. Um, I might want to also, um, let's see, I have top articles, top sections. I kind of like that. Those are articles that I've already created that are related to those categories. Mm, quite honestly, I like to change the order. I want top sections on top. So look, very simple. All the way up into the top right, I can reorder elements from this page. I'm basically gonna drag top sections on top. I like it, looks simple. Has these moving tiles that are very cool, have a very cool effect. Now I'm going to publish my portal. And that's it, I'm done. So, let's take a look and see uh, how things look like. Just a quick reminder, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to bring you back into my customer support portal. If you notice, I have a, 
a neat background and a few color tiles displaying product support, etc., etc. This is a portal that is meant to be for customer support. I'm going to go into a different tab. It is internal.lgh.happyfox. It's again my demo account. Look at the name of the portal, employee support. Great. The background is a little simpler. Look at the top sections, accounting, HR, IT. Again, this is a KB or a knowledge base that is meant to help internal employees. And if I go into the actual ticket page, you'll see that Again, the options there are completely different from what my customers can see, right? This one have options that uh, allow me to send requests to my HR team, for example. So that is it. That's what multi-brand implies. The use cases are unlimited. You could have multi-brand portals for different products, right? If your company has um, different divisions, different products, different offerings, well, you can have a multi-brand product for each one of those because at the end, you're just creating a portal for a unique audience. And that is the flexibility with the multi-brand feature in Happy Fox. Yet, remember this, all of those tickets, no matter what brands or how many brands you're using, all of those tickets will still come in into the agent portal so that your team behind the help desk can manage all of those tickets. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you need further assistance, we'll suggest also visiting our support center where we have a complete series of articles dedicated to multi-brand. By just simply typing the word multi-brand in the search bar, you'll get a few options there that can guide you through the entire process step by step. Thanks again. Have a good day.